With your news this morning, I'm Justin Mott. This news brought to you by Adam Sport in Logan Sport. Shelbyville ISD will be having their graduation today. Mario Osby, high school principal, invites the public to come out. Good morning, Shelbyville community. This is Mario Osby, uh, principal at the high school. I just wanted to make everyone aware that we'll be having our graduation at Dragon Coliseum. Start time will be at 7 o'clock. You may want to get there a little early get you a good seat. Everybody come out and support these kids. Thank you very much. And speaking of graduation, here are some graduation dates from our other local and area schools. Center High School will be graduating on May the 26th at 8 p.m. Timson High School, May the 26th at 8 p.m. Tenaha High School, May the 25th at 7 p.m. And Joaquin High School, May the 26th at 8 p.m. St. Augustine High School will be graduating on May the 26th at 7.30 p.m. And coming up in June in Tenaha ISD, they're getting ready for their annual bass fishing tournament. It will be held at Lake Sam Rayburn at the Castle Boykins Park on June the 10th from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. For more information, you can call 936-391-9884. That's 936-391-9884. This year, there will be a 9-11 Memorial Day at the Country Music Hall of Fame in Carthage, Texas. Event coordinator Arthur Lorenzo tells us more. Okay, 8 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock at night. At 8 o'clock in the morning, I already have the sheriff of Carthage is going to speak. We have the Sheriff Color Corps going to bring the flags in. I'm getting the Knights of Columbus of Marshall and Carthage to be wearing their regalia. That's the outfit where they have the capes and the white hats. So it really gives a beautiful presentation. They've done it. The Knights of Columbus did it both years. And last year, we were able to get the, the Sheriff's Department and they agreed to do it again this year. And now, moving along in your rest report this morning in Shelby County, David Kelly, age 38, a sinner, burglary of a habitation, Marvin Owens, age 33, of Gary, non-payment of child support, Dakota Rogers, age 20, of sinner, failure to appear, and failure to identify, Chad Richards, age 26, of Joaquin, driving while intoxicated. And now moving along in your obituaries, 39-year-old Shasta Yvette Edwards-Kirk of Huntington, formerly of Woodville, passed away Thursday, May the 11th, at her home. Her wishes were to be cremated, and a memorial service is scheduled for Saturday, May the 27th, from 2 to 4 p.m. at the Dogwood Hills Baptist Church in Woodville, Texas. 52-year-old Tammy Hall of Huxley passed away Sunday the 7th at M.D. Anderson in Houston. Her wishes were to be cremated, and a memorial service will be held on Friday, May the 26th, at 2 p.m. at the Smyrna Missionary Baptist Church in Huxley with Brother Jared Brown officiating. 70-year-old Mr. Carl Cornelius Johnson of Center passed away Wednesday the 10th at Nacogdoches Medical Center. Services will be held tomorrow at 11 a.m. at the Community Funeral Home Chapel of Center with Reverend Wilbert Simons officiating. Interment will follow at the Westview Cemetery. Mr. Carl Cornelius Johnson is survived by his wife, Mary Louise Johnson of Center, two daughters, one son, one sister, five brothers, six grandchildren, ten great-grandchildren, and one uncle. This news brought to you by Adams Ford in Logan Sport.